Hi everyone, we're at Your Saturday 2024 in Paris, France. I am now with Safran Electronics and Defense, a French company which unveiled today the Skyjacker counter UAS system. With me is Jean Arnold Chenio, Skyjacker program manager, who is going to explain to us to find out more about Skyjacker. Jean Arnold, good morning. Good morning. So, what is uh, Skyjacker? So uh, Skyjacker is a complete uh, counter US system uh, solution uh, which includes um, identification, detection and uh, neutralization. Uh, the, the very specific uh, thing about the Skyjacker is that it uses uh, GNSS spoofing uh, to uh, repulse uh, the, the drones from, from a protect, protected area. So we can uh, completely uh, um, uh, provide a safe zone where no UAS can enter uh, when protecting a, a ship uh, or a, a complex event. So basically it is not jamming, you are not jamming, but uh, you are making the UAV believe it is somewhere else. Yes, that, that's exact. We, we send a false position to the, to the US so that the autopilot uh, believes the drone is, is somewhere else and, and uh, reacts to, to the new position uh, that is received by the, the, the receiver. I see a number of uh, different systems on top of the vehicles, uh, antennas and uh, EOAR system. Can you get us th through them? Yeah, um, so we have a uh, first uh, a detection system, so that's a, a passive uh, RF uh, solution from our uh, partner uh, Ologard, uh, which detects uh, all the, 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 the drone beacons uh, to locate them on, on, on a map uh, and to be able to uh, detect if they are friend, friend or foe uh, so that we, we don't uh, interact with the, with the, the, the wrong targets. Uh, and then we have the, the PASIO uh, Mark III, uh, which is uh, EOI air uh, system from uh, Safran uh, to uh, enable uh, identification of, of the threat, identify the type of drone uh, and, and confirm that, it, that it's a, uh, an enemy drone. And the last one is the two antennas that you see on, on, the, on the front of the vehicle, uh, which, is, uh, which are uh, spoofing antennas to generate, uh, to emit, to transmit the, the, the RF signal that will go to the, to the GNSS receiver of the drone uh, and have the effect, the final effect on, on the drone. And the Skyjacker comes in a very compact form factor because obviously it can fit in the trunk of this uh, SUV. Yeah, that, that's uh, less than a one uh, cubic meter box uh, that can be deployed very easily or integrated in, into a, a vehicle uh, or basically uh, any platform, mobile platform, when we are moving, we just add some uh, inertial system to keep uh, the, the, the information, the, the position information of the, of the, the platform uh, in order to update our, our, our signal regularly. Uh, but that's part also of the Safran portfolio. Now, uh, Jean-Arnold, our audience may wonder why is Naval News uh, covering a land system, but actually uh, Skyjacker has been uh, tested by the French Navy a couple of months ago during an exercise, is, is that right? Yeah, that, that was a counter US exercise in the, the Mediterranean Sea, uh, where we are able to, to, uh, to test the, the system uh, and improve its uh, efficiency against um, um, targets from, from the, the, the French Navy uh, and prove that we, we have an effect, but not only we have an effect, we control the effect, uh, the, the, the exact range of the system, and that we, we don't uh, impact on uh, a third party system that are in, in the area. And uh, the, the sensors on board the ships as well, I guess? Yeah, exactly. We, we, we are uh, completely immune for, for, the, for the system on board uh, so that the, the, the ship can still operate the, during the, 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 the effect of the, of the, the skyjacker. And on which uh, type of uh, vessel was it tested? It was on a, on a frigate, on a French frigate, uh, during uh, basically a week, a week at sea. And uh, can you share with us any uh, of the feedback that the, the French sailors uh, gave you or is that too confidential? Uh, the, the, the feedback that we, we can give that we have um, uh, a range that is fully compatible of the, the, the sensor on board. So on board they also have the, the PASIO XLR, which is a long range uh, identification system, uh, plus the, the, what they have in terms of radar. Uh, all of this is compatible so that we are uh, a full uh, uh, solution um, that, that can complete uh, the existing, uh, uh, we, we say, hard kill systems on board a, a ship. Uh, it can be the, 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 the missile or the, the guns they have on board. So we complete that, that existing systems uh, with a soft kill solution uh, that, that will fit completely uh, on board the, the ships, uh, we, we, we hope. 
Last but not least, uh, Jean Arnold, uh, the Olympic Games uh, are about to start in about a month's time in Paris and the Skyjacker will be at the Olympic Games. Yeah, we, we, we are working on that, on, on this, to, to be able to protect, add this asset uh, to, to the, the, the system, the existing system uh, that, are de that will be deployed in France. Uh, this is something very important because the threat evolves very quickly uh, and, and today the, 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 the GNSS spoofing is a, is a new solution against the UAS and, that, and that's something that we believe is very important to have uh, during such an event. Jean-Arnold, thank you very much. Thank you.